Okay, this is north and south on the Commodore Amiga. This is the Amiga version, yes. Um, now, I actually had this on the ZX Spectrum when I was a kid, but there's no way I'm showing you that. That is just going to look terrible. Um, before we jump in, actually, they recorded um, a special little version of each of the national anthems, depending on which flag you click here, for what language you want to play in. And uh, let's hear the old. Beautiful. Stunning rendition of God Save the Queen. Made famous by the Sex Pistols. Uh, Le Tunique Bleu, it says at the top of the screen. That's a Belgian comic, apparently, uh, which is where the art of uh, that's consistent throughout this game comes from. I know nothing about the comic book, um, so if you want to find out about that, Wikipedia or something. Now... I'm going to jump into a game real quick and explain what these options are after we get in here. But I'm going to I'm going to play the full fat version. So I'm going to turn on Indians, turn on bad weather, and turn on the port reinforcements. Uh, this here means uh, this is arcade versus strategy mode. Now, arcade mode is kind of the hook of the game. Um, the gameplay is a bit like Civilization, which you'll see in a bit. This actually came out before Civilization, uh, but when two units collide, it actually activates a mini game, which you play in real time. Uh, a bit of an action mini game. Now, this here, this guy here means that I'm going to be nice and strong, and here, the AI is going to be weak. Uh, that's because I'm not very good at this game, and that is the only chance I have of potentially winning. So let's get into it. Let the disc access for a bit. I do enjoy the music in this game as well, actually. Now, one thing I forgot to explain on the previous screen is you can change the year that the battle takes place. And what that does essentially is uh, it changes how many units you start with each team and the position that the units start in. There's also a little story to start it off as well to explain why uh, the units are in those positions for those for that year. Uh, let's get into it. Okay, so those options I enabled at the beginning. There's the bad weather. So if that uh, is above a space that your units are on, uh, that unit can't move for a turn. And the Indian, having that enabled, uh, also enables the Mexican. And what that means is if your units are in any of these Western uh, territories, the, the Indian or the Mexican can randomly attack you, and it will just immediately kill that unit. So you need to be very cautious about being on those spaces. Um, trouble is, is those spaces are very desirable, because there are three red dots along the West side, now these are forts. Now when uh, when the freight train comes along, this train line here, it will stop off at the forts. And when it stops off at your fort, it will give you money. And you get more money depending on how many forts you have control of. So you want to control as many of these as possible um, so that when the train comes along, you have money to reinforce and buy more of these little dudes here. Anyway, enough of me jabbering. Let's... Uh, Start moving these units. So it's turn-based, just like Civilization, which came out before. Uh, sorry, after this game. Um, the AI is taking his turn. Now I'm going to make a, ra a mad dash for this space here, because that's the port. Now if you control the port, um, every three turns, I think it is, a boat will come along and give you a free unit, which is very desirable, because units are very few and far between. I'm going to push in here. Oh, that's perfect timing. That's frozen him in place. Otherwise, next turn, he would attack me, I think. Now, I can move here, despite there being bad weather. Don't mind that I'm stuck there. I now have that port. Now, I'm going to move up here, but I think he's going to chase after me. Oh, he's gone straight for the port. That makes complete sense. Obviously. Okay, let's see how I do here, because... This 
little real-time game is pretty difficult. I'm controlling the cannon right now. Um, you can only control one unit at a time. Although the AI seems to do a majestic job of actually controlling... Oh, I've just lost my cannon. Oh, and my horses as well. The AI seems to... Oh dear, this has gone wrong. The AI controls multiple units at once, which is not possible for you to do. So it seems a little bit unfair if you're playing against the AI. Now, obviously you don't have that problem when you're playing multiplayer, but... This kind of strategy game I find is best enjoyed against the AI, so... It's a bit of a shame that it's... Like this. I'm just... I've got these just two dudes left. I have to wait for those horses to come back. Now their cannon actually ran out of ammo, which is great news. It means I actually have a, a slight chance here of gunning these horses down before they come towards me. Yes! So I've defended. That doesn't happen very often, trust me. But that's all I've got left now, is I've got two infantry left on that space, as you can see on the left side of the screen. I actually lost that, that cannon. Um, so what I can do now is I can move this unit over here down to here over a couple of turns to reinforce uh, make that unit bigger, merge them together. But where he's sitting right now, a boat should come along and reinforce automatically. So I'm going to take this fort, because that's the that's the only way to get money in this game. Um, oh, actually, I do have to move a space. I'm going to move retreat. Retreat one space slightly. Three money bags. Nice. And here comes the boat. And because I own this place... It'll be my unit. There we go. And that's a fresh unit. Yeah, six infantry, three cavalry, one cannon. Right. I'm going to move him down and take another fort. That's a bit of a risk, though, because this Indian could randomly attack me and kill that unit completely, but I will still have control of this place, even if he does that, so I think it's worth going forward. I'm going to merge these two units together. Excellent. I'm stuck in the bad weather. Never mind. Because I've got enough money to reinforce. And I'm going to put it here. Okay, I'm going to... Hmm... I'm going to make an aggressive turn and try and take him out. Um, or am I? Um, I think if I move down here, he's going to attack me anyway. Yeah, I'm going to go for it. Let's see how I fare this time. You can take this bridge out. Ooh. Oh, just shot my own horse. Never mind, it was worth it because I killed all theirs. Ah, I ran out of ammo, but that doesn't matter because I actually killed all of their infantry in the process. Yeah, he's dead. Now, the tactic here, as sad as it may be, is when they've only got a cannon left, you may as well just wait for him to run out of ammo because. If you make for, if you make a run for him, he will kill you. He won't miss. So you may as well move up and down the screen until he runs out of ammo. Which you just did. And I killed him. Fantastic. Okay, what should I do next? I'm gonna reinforce that unit. And with this guy I'm gonna move down here. And he's going to definitely attack you, for sure. Oh, i got some money. So did he. He's going to reinforce. Oh, my turn. I'm going to make a mad dash down. Ah, here we go. So, I'm within reach of his fort now. So, what this will do will activate a minigame where I have to take his fort. And it's different from the previous mini-game. Uh, with this one, it's a side-scrolling 
action game. I was going to say beat em up, but not quite. And the controls are really cumbersome. Um, let's see. This is see for yourself. It moves very fast, and the controls are really awkward. You've got up to jump or climb ladders, left, right. You have to hold spacebar and then press right to attack. So you don't just tap spacebar to attack. Um, I've run out of knives, so I can only melee attack now. Ah, oh. run, 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 run. Ah. Oh. So at the bottom of the screen, that boot has to be ahead of the clock. Otherwise, I'm going to fail, and I am going to fail. Yeah, it's just <sighs> that mini game is really difficult and just clumsy to play, and it's really depressing when you fail to take a territory because of it. Um, it's not how I remember it. But uh, possibly rose-tinted spectacles when it comes to how I remember that particular part of the game. I still enjoy this this strategy part. The map screen's really cool. It's just these these battle games aren't quite how I remember them. And um, I'm only really showing you these to demonstrate. But I'm actually actually when I play this game now, I I just stick to the map screen. I I, I play it in strategy mode. Um, and I don't play these little action games, uh, which is a shame, because it was a it was a major selling point of the game. Quickly gun down these horses. No, I'm missing. <sighs> Disaster. All right, let's move upfield. Who's left? Ah, these guys. Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm gonna come around for another go in a second. Come back. Look at all the death and destruction there. Horrible. There you go, Gundam down. This is great. I think I'm 100% on these uh, this turn. That's very rare, I have to confess. Took him down. Loads of money. Nice. I'm going to reinforce. Uh. Here, I don't want to go on these spaces on the left through fear of being attacked by these guys here. Nothing special really occurs. There's a very short animation where this guy will throw a tomahawk and this guy will throw a bomb um, and you disappear. There's, otherwise, if there was anything more interesting, I would probably intentionally show you. Um, I need to make another go for this fort. Hmm. Let's go for it again. Don't fancy my chances though. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Oh. oh, I just wasted all my knives because I'm the controls got stuck. I'm playing with keyboard at the moment. You can play with a gamepad, but it's um, it's no better. Um, the Mega Drive gamepad is my weapon of choice for the Amiga, but seriously, this. This little mini game doesn't benefit from having better controls. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well I give up on doing that. I'm gonna go for the uh, the annihilation victory. Um, let's uh, who we got here? Six, three, one, nine. Nine dudes, one cannon. Um, actually, maybe if I move here. Another reinforcement. I think he's going to attack. Yeah, he attacked my weaker unit, but it's not much of a weak unit because it's a brand new reinforcement, so it's a pretty even fight here. Move my cannon first. Yeah, control this bridge. Hmm. Run out of my Oh, quick. See, while I was 
controlling the cannon, the AI managed to move all of his units around simultaneously. And that's just something that's not really possible. That's it. Run out of ammo. And I win. And that was it, that was his last unit. So that was actually a, a win for me. Granted, I was against an easy AI, but I'm quite pleased with that. Well done, Captain. Now, there's one particular battle I didn't get to show you just now. Um, now I've actually created this scenario using two-player mode, because it very rarely happens. But if um, if a player owns two forts, so this one here and this one here, and the opposing player is positioned in between those two forts, when the train comes along, you can actually intercept the train. So I'm going to move these units around randomly. Here comes the train. And here comes... Train robbery minigame. So yeah, it's basically the same as the fort one. Um, here we go, I'm up on the train now. Oh, I've fallen off. <sighs> it's so bloody fiddly. Jump! There you go. <sighs> it just doesn't control very well. Um, yeah, again, not quite how I remember it, but there it is. So, a quick summary here. North and South was one of my favourite games growing up, and I realise that this video is going to come across as slightly negative towards the game. Um, obviously, I'm a little disappointed that those action scenes don't quite go as well as I remember, um, I do concede that it's quite possibly down to my lack of ability, uh, which is the reason that I'm struggling with those uh, those sequences. But um, what I really wanted to build towards here is I want to cover a remake of the game that was released uh, this year, in fact, called The Blue Coats North vs. South. And I'm going to upload that video very shortly. Um, so please stick around with us, and uh, I really want you to check out this game.